Hi, uh, so this video is a, a short video to explain you about our SAP MM content, uh, the new folder arrangement. If you see the screen, so whoever uh, take our SAP MM content, right? Once you click on that uh, link, even I'm providing the two links for you. One is for uh, S4 HANA content, another one is for ECC content. Okay. Why did I distribute into two? Like uh, the main reason is that, um, you know, the few people have started their career in 2011, 12, 14, 16, that point of time where ECC was more and uh, S4 HANA is negligible. If someone started their career in 2021 or 2022, so last uh, three to five years, few people start their career in ECC and few people would have started their career directly in S4 HANA. Okay. So initially I thought to have that, let's keep one content and wherever uh, S4 HANA new things are coming, I keep adding into that. And also we have a separate folder for ECC and S4 HANA differences. That was happening for last one to two years, but now our S4 HANA new content is being added every month. And uh, I want to give more clarity to the people who wanted to go through only S4 HANA content. So this split will be helpful for them. So what you need to understand is, if you go to S4 HANA content, you will see the content which is useful for SAP S4 HANA only. Okay, you can leave whether there may be a content is similar to ECC or not, that's a secondary part. But if someone is going to this folder, inside the folder, they will see the content which is useful for S4 HANA. I have cleansed the content and uh, I kept what is useful for S4 HANA. And it's a continuous thing that if someone from you that Ganesh, there is a video and this video is not available in S4 HANA, right? Can you check it? If you have such kind of inputs, please put it in the comment under the video or you can send an email so that I will review and remove that video from S4 HANA if it is not related to that. But from my end, I did already the preliminary analysis and uh, removed all ECC related, only ECC related content, which is not applicable for S4 HANA. So once you go inside, you will see the content related to S4 HANA. If you are only for S4 HANA, if you are available in ECC also. What is available in ECC content? If you go to ECC content, you will not see the topics like MRP Live or uh, Business Partner, Flexible Workflow. These all content will not be available in ECC. And ECC content will not get much updates from now onwards in our folders. But as for HANA content, you will get frequent updates and also an email will come that I have added this video into this folder so that you can go through. The people who started their career in 22 or 21 and uh, they don't have any kind of um, expectation that they may work in ECC again because uh, until you work in any brownfield, then only the ECC knowledge will be helpful so that uh, you don't make any confuse and your focus is only to learn S4 HANA MM and update your skills, use this folder and go through and if someone wanted to know that what is available in ECC because you are assigned to a brownfield implementation where you need to migrate from ECC to S4 HANA. So you want to understand what all available in ECC, whether you know already or not because of your S4 HANA skills. That is the purpose. So once you get the line, uh, go to that S4 HANA content. It has the segregation. Okay. So this folder uh, already remote, but keep on coming. So once you uh, go inside you will see the one is course videos and the one is real time and if you go to the course video we have all these folders one is organization structure master data purchasing automatic account determination inventory management invoice verification special procurement types and advanced topics in advanced topics i put a few topics uh, which are related to the different advanced all companies may not use it uh, one is advanced topics or we can say miscellaneous also can be used as a name because for example i never implemented split valuation and in any of my projects okay vendor sub range also i used only in one project so the rare or uh, topics also available and the advanced topics like idoc and eccs for hana differences lsnw related tutorials all these things available in this folder okay you can go through and learn and real time 
uh, real time we'll have the project based content and uh, implementation related project based content and uh, this is support okay so you can see like real time implementation project related Okay. So implementation related or pro support project related. And if I have any other uh, topics related to real time, I keep adding here. You will see the templates, documents, okay, all the information you can see. So I hope you got an idea that uh, whether you want to learn only S4 HANA, you can go here. And if you want to learn only ECC, you can go here. But I mentioned that S4 HANA and ECC may have at least 70 to 80 percentage of the common content okay so that's it about our content the new folder and whenever i add a new videos into any folder whether it is in ecc or s4 hana an email notification will come to you so keep an eye on your emails to check it and if you have any other queries about this you can ask and whenever i share this google drive i always attach this video with you so that you will understand that what i need to learn okay so the new people who don't want ecc you don't have to open ecc content anymore you focus only on s4 hana i hope this new folder arrangement will give you clarity that you are not learning something which you don't want a few people don't want to learn ecc anymore although they know that ecc has a career of five years more or six years more but they want to learn only s4 hana they need only s4 hana based on their project you can for, go through only 01 folder. You can ignore 02. Okay. And I don't think there are any people in the current market who wants to learn only ECC but don't want to learn S4 HANA because it's not possible. S4 HANA is the current market and the future market. ECC is the current market and very little future market. So that everybody learns S4 HANA. Few people don't want ECC. They can ignore 02 folder. That's it and uh, thanks for your support and uh, if you are watching the similar videos on Udemy. So like I mentioned that e Google Drive content and Udemy content are same. If I make any video, I upload in Udemy and also in the Google Drive. But what is special in Google Drive? If you go to uh, Google Drive that uh, you can, uh, in Google Drive you have all the sequence of the folders and all. But in case of Udemy, you can have uh, each course uh, it is split into multiple courses. Each course have quizzes, 10 questions, 20 questions. You can give answers and try your, um, how what you learned and all, okay? And also when you are uh, going through a certain kind of a content in Udemy, once you complete the course, you will get a certificate which you can showcase in LinkedIn kind of a platform. And the latest uh, Google Gemini, if you have a Google Gemini, for example, if you are, uh, want to anything, you can ask Gemini also uh, about the folder. Can you or tell what content is available in the folder, a specific video, can you explain the points, anything you can ask the Google Gemini. If you have uh, even free version also will give you some support. If you have a pro version, then you will have uh, more functionalities. Thanks again for watching. Keep learning and keep providing you valuable feedback and ratings on Udemy and any inputs you wanted to give about our 2026 content, please feel free to give. I will include. Thank you and thanks again. We'll meet with other video. Thank you.